dear viewers, my name is Uluwa Fumila Lolua Tusa. You are welcome to this YouTube channel in his presence. This channel promises lots of edifying content for children, for teenagers, as well as adults. A big thank you to all our viewers who have subscribed to this channel. If you are yet to do so, please subscribe now. And ensure you click the notification bell. Thank you. Bye. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my only. Hi, Mom. You look tired. Yes, dear. I'm very tired. I had a very hectic day in the office today. Can I speak with you for some minutes? I promise it won't take time. Okay, dear. Please make it snappy. Please, mom. What determines a guy's growth? A guy's growth? How do you mean, my dear? Peter and Joshua told me in school today that only big boys take alcohol. You know you and dad have told me never to take alcohol and cigarette if I want God to be happy with me. And also to have a healthy living. Almost all the guys in my class take alcohol. They even go for clubbing, including Joshua, whose father is a pastor. Each time I hear them speak about these acts, I feel as if I'm not as matured as they are. They tell me to stop being a caged guy. Mom, am I really a caged and immature guy? Not at all, my darling. You are only a child under the leadership and leading of the Holy Spirit. The devil has different ways to make the wrong looks like the right before people. And the right will now look like the wrong. That is what the devil has succeeded to do to your friends. Don't believe the deceit of the devil. But Joshua is a pastor's child. He knows the Bible. You make me laugh, my dear. Being a pastor or bishop's child does not make you a child of God. You only become a child of God when you give your life to Jesus. The more you study his word, the more you know the truth about the gospel. Sweetheart, don't be too concerned about how people see you but how God sees you. Henceforth, I refuse to be moved by what my friends call me. I will focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. I pray God will continue to be my guide. Thank you, Mum. You have opened my eyes to the truth. I love you, Mum. You are the best. I am glad, my dear. God will help you to stand your ground in the midst of peer pressure. Amen. Good night, Mum. Good night, dear. I love you. I love you too, Mum. One Saturday, Mrs. Godson took Kathy, her daughter, to the beach. Mum, thank you for bringing me to the beach. You are welcome, my darling. You see, Kathy, I decided to bring you here because I want us to have a nice time together. Thanks, Mum. You are the best. You see, my darling, I am proud of you. You really impressed your dad and I by your grades in your IGCSE. Most importantly, you don't joke with your personal Bible study and prayers. Thanks, Mum. You know you are my role model. I love you, Mum. Can I ask you a question, Mum? Sure, dear. Go ahead. Mum, Sophie and Annie told me I'm not growing. How do they mean? You are already a big girl. You know I am now 16. My friends said a girl of my age should have a crush. What do you mean by crush? Is it a kind of where? No, mum. It means a lover boy. You made me laugh. Why will you believe the deceit of the devil? The devil just wanted to use your friends to win you to his side. You should not be ignorant of his devices. You see, my darling, the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 says, The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 says, do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? You see, my dear, you are a child of light, you have nothing to do with the darkness. Please don't go into such act, it will destroy your relationship with God. It will lead you to eternal condemnation. Mum, does this kind of relationship have effect on my life apart the spiritual implication? Of course it does, my darling. 1. You will lose your pride as a girl. 
2. You will lose concentration on your academics and other important aspects of your life. 3. Once you can't concentrate in school, your grades will become low. 4. The boy and other friends will make you lose focus and can even introduce you to other forms of evil acts such as drinking alcohol, smoking, drug, clubbing and all sorts of evil acts. These things will destroy your life. You can also get pregnant. And I'm sure you are not ready to be a mother now. Of course, you know the problems abortion. Yes mum, I do. You have taught me. It can lead to death. It can destroy my womb. It can open door for deadly infections into my womb and my body as a whole. Don't forget that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit does not dwell in unclean vessel. You still have a long way to go my dear. Concentrate on your studies and let God and also your parents be proud of you. I'm always waiting to be old enough to do certain things. No Kathy. Don't wish your youth away. The older you become, the faster time seems to pass. Be happy each day. Do things each year, the best that you can do and when another year comes, enjoy new opportunities. Remember, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says that there is time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heaven. I love you my darling. Don't disappoint God, don't disappoint me and don't disappoint your dad. Yes mum, I renew my promise to my God that I will not be involved in immorality. And don't forget to always pray for your friends, so that God can show them light as well. Don't relent in your Bible study and prayer life. Thank you mum, you are the best. Thank you Jesus, I will love you forever. Now my darling, let's play around. Yes mum, I will go near the water. I love this place mum. I'm glad you love it. You are my strength when I am weak. You Come on Kathy, it is time to go home. Mum, when I get to school on Monday, I will tell my friends all these things you taught me today. That is very good my dear. Teach them the truth. If all youth live right, tomorrow will be better, greater and more peaceful. Youth should not use today's temporary enjoyment and worldly lust, to destroy their tomorrow, that promises a long-lasting enjoyment and glorious future. 